why am I stood on this bridge? So we're just in uh, West House as Blackwell. So we're going to be having a look today at the disused railway line to the Blackwell collieries and up to the new Hucknall colliery. you over that icy wall there that's the Eriwash Valley line down there we know that line before we've seen that line we've covered Vidinge Junction we've gone under it on the Pinkston Canal the Cromford Canal and we've gone over it on Benelay Viaduct so that's looking up down towards Long Eaton that way down towards Nottingham Strap yourselves in for the first issues railway video of 2023, though this was actually filmed just before Christmas. We're going to be mainly looking at the yellow line starting from here at West Houses, past the old West Houses depot, and the Blackwell A winning and B winning collieries, and onwards towards the new Hucknall colliery. We're also going to be seeing some of that former Great Central Main Line that ran through the area, but more on that later, including a bit of bonus footage. Built in 1871, as far as both of the Blackwell collieries, it was later extended to the new Hucknall colliery and the new Hucknall sidings on the Great Central Railway. The lines closed at various stages, with the latest being in the late 80s. So we're going to be heading off in that direction. You can see there's lines over there. We've got the triangle here that went off into the line that we're going to see today. So we'll, we'll get down there and have a look. Like so sorry before we crack on i forgot to mention that used to be the site of the um is it west houses west and houses blackwell, blackwell I think it was yeah. Called, yeah sure that's the way around so we've just been having a look at the station approach we've got a station hotel station pub there so the west houses and blackwell train station on the old midland railway there's been a railway station in some form here since 1881 but it closed in 1967 and you can see the bridge in the background there that we're just stood on top of. And the station was located just to the north of that triangle. And we can see the West Houses depot there just to the east of that triangle. So we've got these old lamps um, on the path down from the road. We believe this would have been one of the accesses into the, the West Houses at West Houses Depot that we're just going to be going over towards long since closed now and it's been open cast so there's not going to be anything left to see of the depot unfortunately I hope to be proved wrong I believe that's the case so we're just going underneath the main Midland Eriwash Valley line now So we're now inside the triangle and we've just walked down underneath that bridge that I've just put the arrow to. And if we have a look at a modern day aerial image from Google Maps, we can still quite clearly see the definition of that triangle. So we are right on that triangle. I've just been showing you on the maps now. You can see a bit of banking here. That's looking that way. That's looking the southbound um, end of the triangle. And if we just pan around that's then looking it's curving back that way and it's meeting up with the other side of the triangle and this on this side was used to be the site of, of the West Houses depot that closed in the in the early 80s like I say this has been open casted unfortunately it's hard to pick out any anything any well, we, we've been to places like this before that have been been open casted and it's it's pretty much erased. But they've kept the, the more or less the alignment of the path look, haven't they? Heading off where we're going in that that curved direction. Just looking off in that direction. That's the that's the northern. Um, the northern curve, the northern access onto the Eriwash Valley line. So that's to the north, that's to the south. 
and that's looking off in to um, where we're going. The Blackwell Collieries are ah, the new Hucknell Colliery that way. Still got West House's depot on the right hand side there. I have to take the word for it. The, the siding that came down off the of main line, although we're not quite high enough, shot down there and into the bottom area, and then you know that's how they access the depot. As Phil's just been explaining, the access into the depot uh, and the main through line at the top is a slightly higher level than the depot itself. And we can see that on some of the old photographs. And a massive thanks to Steve Freeman for uh, letting me use these photographs. It's hard to imagine that this is the same location. Now there's been a depot in this location since around 1890 until it closed in the 1980s. And we can see on this photograph looking west, we can see the triangle splitting off there in both directions and the Eriwash Valley line in the background. And all that's left is a, a bit of a couple of access roads around the back further down, but they're not easy to make out either. They've been up and cast it away. So that's looking back to where we've just walked from. This is uh, this is open cast. It's not it's not the actual uh, line that we're walking on, but you get the you get the general idea. But just swing you around into the sun. This is we're coming into the area now where it was the Blackwell, the first of the colliers we're going to see today. Blackwell A winning. Ah, it's good someone's put on that on him. Blackwell Parish Council, a place of reflection and memorial to those lost to COVID-19. Sorry, I forgot my manners, completely forgot my manners. Uh, I forgot to say, we're with uh, Phil today. Your name right, you've not got your shirt on today. No, I'm not bought it because I'm not, take, I'm not it's not t-shirt weather, <laughs> is it? I've seen Philip just behind me then, he's not some kind of weirdo. He is uh, He is with me today, so don't, don't be alarmed. So yeah, we went did a few explores last year. We did did Crouch. Uh, I'm just putting together my highlights video of this year actually, and oh, Crouch is on there. So just giving away one of my top five. Try and just stick you up a bit higher. You can see some old red brick buildings there in the in the colliery site. There's a small one down there, and then the main one here. have a look at this bridge the original abutments but then it's got a, a, a stronger a cylindrical concrete bit of cement that they've put in there so that's the M1 motorway going above us there you might be able to hear, hear the noise from it obligatory graffiti it's just nothing really to write home about is it this we've just been discussing technically a tunnel oh look at this fantastic artwork Homer Simpson Spongebob or is it the yeah. guy off the uh, wrong trousers thing What's that one Wallace called? and Gromit yeah. that's definitely Homer Simpson that isn't it he is so as you'll notice, we're over the other side of the M1 now. Uh, we're on the approach to B winning colliery now. Uh, Blackwell B winning colliery. And all this, let's have a look over here, because it's widened out and these were some sidings. Let's get through these, these trees. Got the railway fence over there. So I suppose technically it was was a viaduct, wasn't it? This bridge before it's been that's been infilled. This bit's been modernised, reinforced. You've still got arches and 
They may yeah. have diverted a stream through one, I'm not sure. Let's have a look, let's have a look through the fence. Quite a few arches, isn't there? there? Let's put you over the fence. You see those? And if we look at the bridge, that's the, the more modern reinforced bridge going through there, that's pointing directly into here. There's a signal box here as well. A signal box somewhere, I can't remember its exact location because of the state of the land now. Somewhere here. So, main line going off up if there. I want to call it a main line. Yeah, no, we'll call it back. Yeah. Carried on going. Yeah, a through line, shall we say. Skating the colliery, which is on the right. And then sidings on the left. Yeah. And there's that bridge behind us. Which has clearly had its arches taken up on this side, look, as you can clearly see. Yeah, a graphical representation, B winning Colliver this time, Ilkit. Bit of frost on it. To clear them off today, all these boards all being covered in thick frost. So this one closed in 1964. I think that other one, A winning, closed in 1969, if memory serves me correctly. I go too far down the bank, and I don't want to be the day when it's minus two that I, I fall into a stream for the first time. But yeah, there's a bridge going underneath. We can see it's where the lions were. It's at the side of the B winning pit. So there's that side of the bridge. And the other side of the bridge is just... Let's just call it a culvert. It's quite wide, isn't it? Here's the other side. It's the other side of that stream, look. Same thing. Blue brick at the bottom. So we're just leaving... We're just leaving the um, New Hucknall Colliery branch for a moment. Just heading up onto the right-hand side. You can see all the distribution centers here in front lot you can see those when you're driving down the m1 can't you near junction 28 um, which to explain what we're doing where we're going now it's probably just bring up that map again so we're walking down this um well i call it the middle yellow line in the direction of new hucknall colliery now you'll notice here this blue line going from north to south that's the great central main line and you'll notice that there's a blue line that goes from that line the new hucknell sidings into the blackwell b winning colliery now we've just walked through that wooded area there from the yellow line to the blue line and we're currently on this road b winning site um, right so b winning site b winning colliery is there is this was an access line that came off the great central i don't know why it's now a road because the access in it doesn't come up. Great Central is Shot across cutting across us there, just in front, not just far. On a high embankment. So, we were just, just saying there is a line straight in to, to New Hucknall Colliery, but for some reason this line was built later. During the Great Central, where trains, or some trains, reversed back up the other curve that I'll show you again, we'll, we'll get the maps out, um, into the colliery that way. So we're just a bit puzzled why that manoeuvre was taking place when there was a line directly into the, into the colliery. Now here's a wider map and I'm hoping somebody who's watching this video might be able to just confirm the uh, the questions we've got around this. So I'm not sure when this line from New Ucknell Sidings to Blackwell B winning colliery was installed, but it's not on any earlier maps. Uh, and the Great Central line, as we know, closed many, many years ago. Now, there is that direct line from B Winning Colliery into New Hugnall Colliery. But we've got accounts from drivers um, that they never actually used this direct line between the two. Instead, they would go into the New Hugnall sidings and then reverse or, or go to the end of the train to go into the New Hugnall Colliery. So if anyone does know the answer to these mysteries, these questions, do uh, leave me a comment. So you'll see this big mound here to the right hand side, that's the great central main line and that's about to come swinging over us in front any minute now. And that obviously, we know the great central main now, we've done sections of that up near, closer to Sheffield. 
Um, but that's the great central line. This is where there would have been uh, pillars for the start of the viaduct. And it's swung across as here. As you can see, it's just it's the field at this side here. But you can see there's a... That would be where the, the trap bed is there, where there's that little line, a little hedge there. Just a little stubby edge and the trees behind. So we'll be stood right underneath. Right underneath that viaduct now. Stones there. There's some old yeah, coping stones from the old bridge somewhere underneath. Got a bit of a culvert for this stream. It's got a bridge identifier on this one. Department for Transport BEI 70. So we've just come from down there now, so we're on it's come out on a road now. <laughs> no idea where I am. We said it was a level crossing here. Yeah, we're in Uthwaite. Uthwaite. And entrance to Norton and Colliery, we're just where that car just come past there. We had lorries coming. And this line went down to uh, Norton Sidings, and that also went into Colliery. So, just for some context, we're stood right there on Brookside Way, just on the entrance to the New Hook Mill Colliery. Going over there, yeah. Yeah, so you can see the alignment, can't you? from straight straight down here and straight straight over there immediately a line shot left there single line controlled by those signals here on the box here it seems to be there for some reason they've just look put it on top of the yeah it's decorative isn't it just because the yeah. horizon state really so we're stood just at the uh at the entrance, would you say entrance? Yeah, just yeah. over the side of the fence. New Ucknell Colliery. Right, so now we're going to reverse out of the new Hucknell Colliery and we're going to take this blue line down towards the new Hucknell sidings. I get on there, I believe it's here. I think. So we're going to try and get onto that um, spur off to the left that joins the old Great, uh, great Central line. I think it went down to the uh, new Hucknell sidings. What we were talking about earlier when the train's reversed to come back again up to the New Upland Colliery. So this is the trap bed. So this is that that spear heading south then from, from the colliery, New Upland Colliery. Let's see how far we can get down. The big banking we're on. A railway sleeper in there. The old trap bed. Excellent. Don't know what it was. Don't know if it's railway related. It's next to a it's next to a barbed wire fence, and we've got a stub of a fence post there. Well, we're further on that spear we've been walking down. We didn't manage to walk all the way down it, so we've jumped in the car and come round. Um, we're on the site of uh, of New Upnall sidings and um, the great central main line gone hasn't it it's disappeared still in those new hucknell sidings here just spin you around look you can still see the original uh side of the cutting on this side and if i show you it's probably best just to show you with the old map um that goes back to the early 1900s where there was probably at its peak that there was the sidings here and all these industrial units you can see if you fade to google maps this is where all these lines would have been in this cutting so early 1900s new Ucknell sidings you'll notice that spur off to the b winning colliery isn't yet built and there is the current day google maps it's, uh, it's banking this side of this cutting is getting deeper and deeper the further we're walking so we are walking back in the direction of new Ucknell colliery now All right, so the remains of a bridge, yep. the remains of a footbridge. So are we, we're at that, that location then where we had the Great Central Line going through the middle and the spur off towards the A winning. Just to the left there. Went off that way. And then to the right with the one we were on earlier. Bucknell, that there, way.
just randomly placed there concrete sleeper I don't know how long these tracks have been been missing from here but this colliery closed down I believe in the in the early 80s lines were lifted in the early 80s and Great Central has been gone even longer than that so they're obviously doing some uh, some work here it's like there's a big drain being capped off the there but the, the, this this where the old great central and the sidings were here they seem to have just created this huge bank in here and it seems to just have unearthed loads of stuff i can see bits of posts there's all bits of brickwork look all little bits from that are probably from the old railway and the old sidings and we've seen that sleeper just behind us here i can see another sleeper over the other side there so I've made it up onto, onto the top um, of that huge mound of earth we've just been looking at. So just to the sun, A38 bridge over there, Great Central main line running straight across here. Just look in this direction, that's um, the village of Huthway, straight in front. And our curve, so if we're stood on the Great Central main line, we're just about curving off to the right hand side here is that branch line going off um, towards New Hucknall Colliery. And then the line going off, branching in that direction, I suppose this the other side of these mounds was that other spur down to um, the Blackwell V winning colliery where we've just been. Interesting to think, this is the old Great Central Main Line, an old main railway line just running straight in that direction. And there's so much abandoned um, around here we've just been sleepers half a sleepers smashed up huge pile when they can see some sleepers I don't know what the rest of that is there's something I mean this is around where we've got that little bridge I've just been looking at a short while ago there so this is, would have been around where there would have been a track around here somewhere I'm not going down there it is a it is a bit of a tip a bit of a tip site this isn't really related, I'm sorry I'm shouting, got the A38 next to us here. Um, this isn't really related to what we're doing today, this is just a bit of bonus because we were just passing by. Um, just down here, I'll just show you where pan you around. This is the old Great Central Main Line. We've just been stood literally 50 yards the other side of these um, unit things, whatever this is. Well look at this, this is the old bridge. Now. It's now the A38, it's not always been the A38, it was just a more minor road. Get down the banking safely, and we've still... How many people drive over that every day without realising this old bridge over the old Great Central Railway? It's still there. The old blue brick. Um, typical of the Great Central Railway, isn't it? But. I mean, look at the ornate, flowery, whatnot on there. Yeah, the lattice girder, would you call that? So, as you can see, the cutting. This would have been a, a cutting that we was in. The line. Well, you can see, isn't it? This this earth wouldn't. It shouldn't be here. This has all been raised built on the uh, on the track bed unfortunately these days apologies i don't know the source of this photo but i have seen it shared in several different places by several people but this is just looking away from that bridge back towards those new hucknell sidings and you can get a feel for the size of the cutting that went under this a38 bridge it shows you how these things back then are built to last where they built a major dual carriageway over the top so we're on the track bed, Great Central. Look at that, you can, you can actually walk that way. Yeah, you can, yeah. So going off in that direction there towards Nottingham. So we thought it'd be rude not to. We've come underneath that bridge and we've noticed there is a path going off down following the, the track bed, uh, the Great Central main line. So it's rude not to, there's the bridge behind. And you can see it's quite a wide cutting, isn't it? Look, big bankings. We've got a, a mile post or something here. Look, 
Ow, that's sharp. We've got some, what's that, some ducting. I'm getting tangled on everything here. And there's a post, radiant post, mile post or, or something, I'm not sure. So only just, just beyond that bridge we've just seen, we had South Normanton Colliery branch going off to the right hand side here on the maps and the Great Central line going off going off that way. I'm not making this into a video about the Great Central mainland, I just thought it's just a nice little bit of a bonus to show you just as we're uh, just as we're finishing for the day really. Seeing this through the trees. I thought it was a ladder but it's not. It's two pieces of rail with some uh, cross bits. It's like a fireplace or something. Makes your fireplace but there's a lot of bricks here. Quite big, don't know what it was. Some kind of hut or something, I don't know. Right on the right on the uh, the junction, South Normanton branch. We're, we're between the bankings now. Look, there's the banking for the main line. And here's the banking for the South Normanton Colliery line. It disappears here because this is an industrial estate. So here is that junction with the South Normanton Colliery line, just going off there to the left. And if we zoom in, we can see a building. So most likely a plate layers up. So that could have been a fireplace that we found there with the rails. Let's have a look. Nice little farm. Yeah, as I say, this is just, just by that bridge. Glad we came down now. The old gate posts are still, still there as well. I mean, it's like, they're like teeth. an extremely old car um, abandoned up here strangely on the top um, and there's another post there another mile post or some post get a closer look at this lattice work from down here that. it's certainly colourful just while we're on the side of, of this bridge on the A38 <laughs> this little hut so what was this on the side of the railway cutting could it be a little hut of some description a fogman's hut or something like that very high up there one right at the top of the cutting why would it be up here visibility you're looking down some advantage down the line there you can see all the way down there couldn't you down the cutting i say cutting it's not a cutting now is it so that's it that was a nice little bonus at the end of the video, that little bit of Great Central Railway, we've just had a little bit of a, what was the word, fight down with all the, uh, all the sharp objects and things like that, trees. Um, but cheers for watching, um, it's Christmas next week, so have a good Christmas, you and your family. This will probably be coming out well after Christmas anyway, so I've got a bit of a battle with videos. Uh, but no, cheers, cheers for your company today. Appreciate it as always, always very interesting. Um, so again, thanks for your support. We'll see you soon.